This video is going to go over semicircles and quarter circles. A semicircle just takes up half the amount of space of a whole circle, and quarter circle means one fourth, so it'll only be one fourth of the whole circle when we find area. Okay, so semicircle. First of all, semicircle is not the whole thing, it only takes up half the amount of space, so I'm going to shade in the amount that I'm going to be dealing with. So to do that, we're going to look over here at the way this is set up. We're going to take the radius times radius times pi and then divide it by 2. If you remember before um, in another video when we said area for the whole circle was pi r squared, well, now we're just going to have to remember to do this one extra thing. We have to divide by 2 because we're only looking at half. A semicircle is only half of a full circle. The other type of circle or the other amount of a circle that we're going to look at was a quarter circle. A quarter circle is only one-fourth of the whole thing in fraction terms. So the difference between this one and the one before, we're going to divide by four because... I'm only going to be able to shade in one of the four pieces, and that's what a quarter circle means. Okay, we have two questions on this slide. It says we need to find the actual area of the circle that has the shaded given region. This first side on the left says semicircle. Semicircle means half. So I'm going to shade in half of the circle. doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to represent the amount we need to find the area of. On the previous slide, we said a semicircle. If you want to know the area of a semicircle, it should be radius times radius times pi. And then because it's only half of the circle, we need to divide by 2. That's the important thing that's different. Now, underneath the picture, it says that the diameter is 8. The diameter is all the way from one side to another. This formula says you need radius, and radius is only halfway across the circle. So if I zoom in on this, half of 8 is only 4. So my radius should be 4. Now I'm going to take what I've been given, radius 4, I'm going to put it in to my equation. 4 times 4 times 3.14, which is pi, and then divide it by 2. I can do 4 times 4 real quick. That's 16. So radius times radius is 16. Then times 3.14. And at the end, we're going to divide by 2 because we're doing half of the circle. 16 times 3.14. Just to make this video shorter, I'm just going to write down how much it was. It's 50.24. And then because... I'm only doing half a circle, I've got to divide by 2. Okay, so the semicircle amount, after you divide by 2, should be 25.12. And it doesn't give us a unit for measuring, so I can't um, finish out the answer. But 25.12 square units would be the final answer for the semicircle. Now, looking at the right side of the page, let's scoot that over. This one says a quarter circle. Well, a quarter circle is only one-fourth. So I'm going to shade in one piece, and instead of dividing by two this time, I'm going to have to divide by four. When you look at a circle all the way across, from one side to another is diameter, 
but this time they're already telling us the radius. So six is the number that I wanna use. If I zoom in pretty close, I'm gonna label that the radius is six. So we don't have to do any work on that. Go back out just a little bit. So the equation, if I wanna find area, we said you should do radius times radius times pi. But now since I'm doing a quarter circle and it's only one fourth, I'm gonna divide by four. We gotta keep that in our mind for later. Looking back at the circle, we know that radius is six. So now I'm gonna put a six in the spot of radius this time instead of what I had before. 6 times 6 for radius times radius. Pi is always 3.14. And then at the end, we're going to divide by 4 since this is a quarter circle. 6 times 6 is 36. Times 3.14. And then just keep it in our mind, at the end we'll divide by 4. 36 times 3.14, again, to make this video go faster, I'm just going to write it in. It is 113.04, and we've got that last step, divide by 4. If I need a quarter circle, The quarter circle, after you divide 113 divided by 4, you will get 28.26. Um, and again, this one doesn't have units, so I don't know what the label is going to be. But the final answer for how much space is being taken up in that quarter circle is 28.26. The really important thing you guys need to focus on is knowing if it is a half circle or a quarter circle, and then don't forget to divide by either four or two.